essentially they were afraid to pass on the farms to their children because the soil was so poor that they couldn't guarantee they were going to get crops good enough to pay for the mortgage. That's a really specific um, threat to those farms. As a result, the average age of farmers in the region was above 60 uh, and people had have a real social um, issue building up around that. that. And the farmers were saying to us consistently, look, look, we want the soil to be better. We know that we have just raked the soil. We've taken out our income. It's all gone now. And now we've, we've got to pass this on and nobody's going to be able to use it. What, what can you do to help that? Being microbes, that's part of it, microbial, so I haven't got a microscope to go find them. But uh, whatever they're doing, they're doing something out there that the ground's getting the aeration, uh, easier tilling. And I really enjoy when I get uh, visitors come and we go around with the shovel and they, they have a dig on my farm and walk over the neighbour's place and they go back straight back into my place again and have another dig just to prove that, that, that that's what the microbes are doing. What, mm. Whatever they're doing, they're doing something. So I'm very happy with the results of making less money for the fertiliser company. Catch cry at the moment is uh, Save the Reef. I've been doing that without even trying. Uh, with the, using the product, it's been uh, really uh, supplementary to my soil health, less runoffs and all that's just, I'm just plodding along doing it with no dramas. Of course I'm getting better cane, I'm using, needing less chemicals to, uh, to get rid of natural grasses, weeds and that, so everything's just a win-win. Well, they're back to that good old healthy soil, if we've got healthy soil, it must be an advantage for the uh, next generation to take over the farm. And I feel a lot happier trying to move on a healthy farm rather than a, uh, an abuse farm.